Long lines once again outside the Delta Mart Shopping Center. Check it out. Uh, this is a water giveaway scheduled, scheduled to be at 530. But the latest problems stem from two massive pumps that started malfunctioning, further crippling a water system. The city officials have not been able to get clear of safe drinking water regulations. Another day of Jackson residents. And then I'm paying a water bill and can't use the water. Lined up an hour early. I really think it's ridiculous. As long as it's been going on, it seems like something would have been done by now. Hoping to get free bottled water from the city, hoping they don't have to pay more out of pocket. It's pitiful. All the money that we done paid into the system for the last three or four years. If it's cold, it broke. If it's hot, it broke. So what are we going to do? The city's water crisis, compounded by the failure of two 8 million gallon water pumps at the OB Curtis water treatment plant, the 16 WAPT toured Monday. I will say to you again, Scott, our water treatment facility is in a constant state of emergency. The mayor telling me those pumps pull water from the reservoir into the water treatment plant. And so they had to get a crane to pull one of those pumps out uh, in order to do repairs. Uh, they're still trying to do repairs on that. Um, and, and so if we can't get water in, then consequently it puts a, a, a damper on time, the, the pressure that's necessary to get water out. Those water pressure drops affecting large parts of the city. More felt from South Jackson to Byram. JPS says the fire department is on standby to provide tanker trucks, if needed, to schools like Wilkins and Wingfield. The fire chief says the city has reached outside the city limits in case it needs help fighting fires and water pressure becomes a problem. We have other resources that we can tap into if we had a problem with, with the fire hydrant. But right now, they are not bad uh, as far as I know. But hopefully no big fires. Hopefully no big fires. City council leaders say they are still assessing how federal ARPA money should be spent in the city. Right now, 25 of the 42 million is assigned to infrastructure repairs, but it could be more. 25 million uh, based on plans have been appropriated. Uh, all, that. all of that have not yet come before the council. Right now, city officials say they're still trying to work out those pump problems as well as resolve this ongoing cloudiness problem in the water that state health leaders says require a boil water warning for the city. No indication for the city of Jackson tonight if either problem is close to being fixed. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.